Calvary bonus. This is my C30. <clears throat> Let's see what we can figure out here. We just had breakfast, you hungry? They're in the drawer. I had mom take them out so that she could play with it and not eat them. Alright, so let's see how they played. Alright, so that looked good that the cab got a good chance to uh, fight there. Um, my phone won't stop going off, damn it. Let's see. What was I going to try a little bit differently? Let's see. Now, there's a lot of different things to the strategy here. Um, I can't always remember everything. Um, and I do this on so many different types of bonuses and different tries. And I don't retain everything. Um, now, this account only is a C30, so it's only got T9 Angels. All right, so having those odd cab, even though they get a bonus, it seems they aren't worth having. Now I wonder what happens. If I just send a little bit more of the infantry to buy more time. Daddy, what is this? Did you leave something? <laughs> Wasn't me. Alright, sorry, I have a family and I am currently, I just got out of surgery yesterday. My knee is excruciating pain. So sorry for my monotone. They got SpongeBob on in the background. I got an 11 month old daughter. Oh, but I have my phone in this game and all these castles. And you guys, too. See? That is what I'm talking about right there. So we got a better result. And a little bit more infantry, which bought the, the cavalry more time. And I took out the odd mages. Not that they necessarily...
I'm thinking. Some even archers with this arrangement. Let's see how we do here. So infantry is still buying the time. Now, what I did was I took away from my mage's ability to get more of a hit at a time, so that probably didn't help. But given the chance that the archers might be that much harder for them to take out, or it might spread out the hits, and that's what I was trying to check if there's even archers. I know, it took back, it took it back. So the mages aren't hitting as hard. Now there's angels. So I'm gonna those angels were getting avoided the whole time, so let's try that. Because you gotta remember, I have a C-34 with T-10 angels I'm gonna try next. And then a C-35 with T-11. Um, Let's try that. 75 on this day. Um, I added 5k infantry. I should probably take it back to the 35 to keep it steady. And we'll try the 40k with the old arrangement if this doesn't work out. I try, you know, I don't really know. You can see the little shark moving across the, or is that a seahorse? Seahorse moving across there. And we're back at roughly the same. And that's all about HP. Let's see what we have here. They took a hit first. Brought infantry a little bit of time. Horses are still going first. Let's try. 40k. Let's try... Let's try that. Drawers pulled up way high. They're high waisted. Oh, yeah, you got her with the new style. This is chilling on her clip.
you can uh, do away with these. My beautiful bride. And that's the best result I got yet. What? You and your beautiful hair, honey. She hates this game, so I can't tell her that I'm recording or she won't she'll make more noise. Let's see what we got. So adding those infantry made a whole hell of a lot of difference. Huh. Now when you go and you break into odds, that's going to change things too. Because my other accounts are T11 accounts. And based on battle order and your strengths and bonuses of the different troops, um, it is going to change the troops' jobs. And you'll be uh, exchanging one troop type for another. So if I have the T11 mages... I want no T10 mages so that my T11 take the place of the T10 mages and they're the last to get touched. Um, there's something to do with the formation of the archers that'll change. But in this case... Okay, what did I do differently? 45k... Yeah, all right, so that was worse. What we can try is that sacrificed firepower. We can try, let's see how many hits I have left. Three. So, do this, back to 40K. Let's put that odd mage back in there. <clears throat> oh, my knee is killing me. I appreciate y'all watching, hanging with me and figuring this kind of thing out. You know, it adds a little bit of a reason for... Um, mastering the game strategy and not having to buy your way to it and there we go that's the best yet added that one odd mage back in there that bought me that extra shot that one bottom right here that extra shot gave me another firing turn before he unloaded all my evens Wow, my horses are going untouched for quite a while. Thinking maybe if I had like 5k angels. Since they kind of line up with my frontline infantry. Let's try that. We'll give this a shot. 10k angels. There are more BP. I think I set that up right. Fuck, man. My knee won't stop aching. It's not even the bone. It's the soft tissue. We got an ice pack on it. Took all my damn meds a half hour ago. Still, don't put a stop to it. 40.5, so that was worse. We got one more attack left. Let's check this battle replay out and see why we got a worse result.
angels, they do stand up a while. But I guess that firing power that they offer is not worth Let's try. All right, wish me luck. problem is on my best account it doesn't have any kind of cavalry in it <laughs> I had the best stats but um, nothing extreme toward horses or nor do I have a large horses army I don't have room for it so that's even worse so the 40k on my 200k march t10 only 40k infantry one of everything and then my prominent source, which is my mages. If your archers are your prominent, you might even do better. If you have T10 angels, which you can have T10 angels and only T10 army. For me, I only have T11, or I happen to have a T11 army with T10 angels and a T11 army with T11 angels. Um, Obviously, T11 or more BP, more attack, so they're not going to do worse than what T10 with the T10 Angels. Thanks for watching, guys. Next video, YOLO.